As Omicron surges throughout the state and the nation, Alabama State Health Officer Dr. Scott Harris says Omicron is extremely contagious, more so than Delta. And as News 19 to Vet Sanchez reports, Dr. Harris says it's only a matter of time before Omicron could get the majority of Alabama residents. According to the Alabama Department of Public Health, all counties in Alabama are at a high risk for COVID-19 transmission. And State Health Officer Dr. Scott Harris says this is because the Omicron variant is more contagious than any other variant. While the ADPH reports 39% of tests are coming back positive, Dr. Harris says that may not be an accurate number. Remember that we actually have no visibility on home antigen tests that people are doing. Those don't get reported to us, so undoubtedly there are a lot of tests out there being done, many of them probably positive that we actually don't even know about. With cases surging at record numbers, Dr. Harris has a looming message about the dominant Omicron variant. It is incredibly contagious. It is much more contagious than the Delta variant. It is many times more contagious than anything we have seen before. Uh, it. Uh, will infect uh, everyone in this state at some point, probably, uh, or, or most of them. Dr. Harris says the single most important thing Alabamians can do to protect themselves is to be fully vaccinated and boosted when it's appropriate to do so. About 2.7 million people have received one or more doses in the state, making Alabama 45th in the country, which Dr. Harris says is not nearly good enough. And with unfavorable vaccine numbers, Dr. Harris says the new emergency use authorized oral drugs are a hopeful option. But with such high numbers of cases, the number allotted to the state may still not be enough. Uh, we're on an allocation just like every other state. I think uh, this coming week we're going to get um, a total of 420 doses of, of citrovimab. Remember, we're having five or six or 7,000 new cases per day. Uh, and once a week we're getting, you know, 400 doses of this product. So uh, there's not nearly enough to go around. Dr. Harris says Alabama is only getting 3% of the amount requested. In Huntsville, Yvette Sanchez, News 19. According to the Alabama Department of Public Health, as of Tuesday, there are 1,249 COVID patients in Alabama hospitals.